Nick Sarlo from Shadowhunters Paranormal Investigation and Events, bringing you another video about haunted objects. If you guys are brand new to the channel, please consider hitting subscribe, like, and sharing this video. All right, let's get into this week's case with case number three, Robert the Doll. Robert the Doll is a well-known and alleged haunted doll with a storied history. The appearance and origin of Robert the Doll is pretty much he's Robert is a life-size straw-stuffed doll dressed in a sailor suit holding a miniature teddy bear. The doll was manufactured by the Steve Company of Germany and is estimated to have been created around the earliest 20th century, possibly in the year 1904. The doll was originally owned by Key West artist and author named Robert Eugene Otto, hence the name Robert the Doll. Robert the Doll was given to young Eugene Otto as a birthday gift by a behemoth servant who practiced black magic. Eugene's parents reported that strange occurrences started happening in the Otto household after the doll's arrival. Eugene, who was preferred to be called Jean, became very attached to the doll and it seemed to have a significant influence on his life. According to reports, Jean would blame the doll, which he referred to as Robert, for mischievous and destructive behavior that occurred in the household. Visitors and family members claim to hear the doll giggle, witness its facial expressions change, and see the doll move on its own. Jean kept Robert into adulthood and reportedly talked to the doll on most occurrences. His wife, Anne, was not fond of the doll and eventually convinced Jean to store it in the attic after they got married. After Jean Otto's death in 1974, the Otto family home became a guest house, and stories of Robert's haunting continued. The doll is now on display at the Fort East Material Museum in Key West, Florida. Visitors claim that the doll's expressions change and they have experiences odd phenomena when talking when taking. Uh, pictures of Robert without asking for permission first. The museum staff received letters from people apologizing to Robert for taking his picture without permission, believing that failure to seek permission brings bad luck. Robert the doll has become a popular subject in the paranormal field and supernatural circles, inspiring various books, documentaries, and movies. The legend of Robert the doll includes numerous accounts of paranormal activity associated with the doll. These stories have been passed down through generations and contribute to the doll's reputation as being haunted. Some reported instances of paranormal activity linked to Robert the doll include moving on its own, witnessing claims that Robert has been moving on its own within his display case at the Fort East uh, Museum in Key West, Florida. Visitors have also reported changes in the doll's posture facial expressions, and the position of its hands. People have reported hearing the sound of a childlike giggle coming from the vicinity of the doll. Some visitors have claimed to hear footsteps within the museum who they think is because of Robert. Witnesses have stated that Robert's facial expressions appear to change constantly with some describing an angry or mischievous look on the doll's face at certain times. Jean Otto, the original owner of Robert the doll, attributed various mischievous and destructive acts to the doll. Guests and family members claimed that objects would be moved or broken and blame would be placed on the doll. People have reported feeling a sense of unease or being watched when in the presence of Robert. Some visitors claim to have had personal experiences such as sudden drops in temperature, feelings of dread, or unexplained phenomena while in the doll's presence. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys ever seen Robert the Doll or tried to take a picture of Robert the Doll. Would you take a picture of Robert the Doll? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I read everything down there that you guys do right. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight on Haunted Objects Exposed. If you guys are brand new, like I said before, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you guys for next week for case number four.